I don't know. They, it was a hoarder's house. No, rats are disgusting. <laughs> I do believe in ghosts. Oh my god, it smells awful. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. So on this disgustingly smelly, probably has dead people house, we're gonna make close to $90,000. Now we're gonna do it a little bit differently than we typically do. So on this house, we're actually already made 50K because we assigned it to ourselves and now we're gonna renovate it. And the reason we're doing that is because in this market, it's very difficult to find good opportunities right now. There's a lot less motivated sellers and a lot less opportunities out there uh, to make these kind of numbers. So for us, instead of wholesaling into this one of our buyers, which we had buyers who are interested, it just seemed like too good of an opportunity for a relatively quick, easy rehab in a good market and one of the best zip codes in Orlando where properties will sell fast because of the price point. So we will resell this property for about 360 after renovations. We bought it for 182. We paid ourselves 50K. So we already made 50K on Friday when we closed. And now we're going to look at it to renovate this property. It has a brand new roof. Pretty much everything else is needed. Probably throw about 60K into it. And then we will sell it and pocket the other 40K from the renovations. So this is how we'll make close to $90,000 on this deal on a basic 4-2 in Orlando, Florida. Come check it out. Oh, gross. <sighs> oh, I love it. Gonna keep them. Smell like someone died or took a big shit in here and left it on the floor. Oh my God. This carpet's been here since the property been built. Literally smells like dead animal. Oh, yes. Someone died. Mm. Oh, goodness. <coughs> I'm puke. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So terrible. Fresh air. I hope you're kidding this for a song and dance. Because uh, there is a lot of stuff that really should be done. Oh, it's a full rehab for sure. Question will be also if we can knock down this uh, middle wall. This one and or this one. And no, uh, this one I'm going to tell you is low down. That one, in all likelihood, is not. All right. So we'd have to at least open it up a little bit. The last day they did uh, clear a span from wall to wall, which is possible. But usually when you see a wall going right down the middle of the unit like that, it's usually right. to support the trusses above it. Master, four, two. How many square feet? Four, two, I have no idea. I think it's like 2,000. Should be pretty easy. Check out the outside. Ugh. I like that there's a pool. Pool comes bigger, quicker offers, more offers. This little uh, stem wall might cause some problems. People say like 30 grand, but right now you can't even put a pool in for like less than like almost like 80. But an appraiser is only gonna give you so much. That ain't good. Please stand, wait for the turkeys to show up. No, seriousness, that's a lot of green space. That could be a potential selling point. No rear neighbors. That's right. Orange County owns it. And there's a school on the other side, Robinson Middle School. I have to probably resurface the pool, fix the concrete over here. Let's we'll see what we can do. A list of things that. Oh, I, I know it needs. <laughs> Even better yet, make my job easy. You can right. tell me. Boom, 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 boom. Here's yep. the 12 out of the... I think the roof's brand new, though. The roof's look yeah. it looks great. Let me see what else my brother says. I don't really know anything about this. Hello? Hey, what's up with this uh, Sagewood house? Is just the new roof? Anything else? That's new? Or that's the only thing new? Come on, Jack. Give me a second. Oh, fuck up. 1970 build. 1750 square feet. 4-2. AC's four years old. Roof two years old. Shingle roof. This AC's four years old? That's what it says. Did the four, you, we got a four point on this or no? No, we didn't do anything. All right, so I don't think the roof's, the roof's new, that's it. I don't think AC's old. It smells god awful. And the water heater looks very old. Is it cleaned out? Did you junk it out or no? Yeah, it's cleaned out. Oh. Fantastic, because this house was, was a hoarder house. Yeah, well, that water heater looks disgusting. There's no fucking uh, garage door opener. There's some exposed brick over here. Look at that. Gross. Oh, they just close up a door and a window so they can keep people in here as prisoners. Oh my god. You want to open this fridge? 
No, you don't open the fridge, bro. That's like a, that's a, that's a sin. You can't do that. Never open the fridge. That was crazy. All right. I do believe in ghosts. <laughs> if we could cut as much as possible in this wall or. What we can do is um, we can open this up, put a column there, a column there. The beam will probably come down, not quite this, this low, but it will open up this whole area. That'd be a little bit really better for sure. It'd be a lot better. As soon as you walk in the front door, it opens it up a little bit and makes it seem so much bigger than it actually is. Yep. Got to resurface the pool. Yeah, kind of I, redo. I, I wouldn't even do that. I'd just sell it as is and say, you know, it is what it is. We're not spool, pool specialists because people don't buy houses for pools. They buy it for the master and the kitchen. Okay. You get the master in the kitchen right, they'll come in, well, yeah, we need to do a little bit for the pool, but it's okay. It's a very private lot. <laughs> God, do you just take this down? Yeah, rescreen? Yeah, what we're, well, we're needed? Yeah, yeah, that's... Yeah. Nice painting, nice landscape. Truly one of the world's most beautiful works of art. I'll put a lockbox on it. If you need to get back in, just let me know. All right, so we got rats in here? If I see fucking rats, I'm gonna fucking jump so high. Did you say your biggest fear was rats? I fucking hate rats. Oh my god. Oh, please don't show up. Oh my god, it smells awful. Why don't you like rats? Because I had to pick one up when I was little. My dad made me pick up a dead one. It was gross. It was traumatizing. It was huge. It was like fucking this big. It was so gross. Ugh. It definitely smells like rats. Mm. That's a pretty fucking nice plant. Nice cactus plant. That might get you high too. Elevate your mind. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Fucking disgusting. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> uh, you bastard. How long has this been big? Uh, I don't know. They, it was a hoarder's house. All right. Let's get the fuck out of here. It's gross. All right. So we just walked through the property with a new GC I met through a local meetup. And so my previous uh, guys I've been using, you know, their prices have gone up and up and up. And so just trying to find new workers, new contractors I can work with. Uh, it's always more expensive when you're doing using one person to do everything. I used to, when I first started doing renovations, subbed out everything myself and managed the job, which typically is the cheapest way to go. But um, we're gonna see what this GC does. We're gonna price out doing it, uh, subbing out ourselves, having my project manager run that uh, rehab. And so we'll weigh out the prices and see what works best for us. The thing about my one guy is he's fast. So he comes in here, he'll bang this house out in three, four weeks. It will be the most expensive that I've been paying, but it is fast and it does it does pretty good work so uh we're gonna test out some different gcs make sure you subscribe and like this video and make sure you find out if we do if we hit our numbers and make the full 90k or if we bomb this place to the ground because there's rats in it and the rats are disgusting